Hi, I'm Sharia Shobhan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a PHP 7 web development environment on Debian 9. Let's get started. I'm going to open up my terminal. I'm going to update my package cache. And after that, we're going to install the packages that we need. Okay. Sudo apt-get install. We need Apache 2, PHP, lib Apache 2, mod PHP, and then MySQL client, and MySQL server and php my admin this is for easily um, manage my skill databases yes press space to select apache 2 and press tab to go to ok and press enter Yes, and here you would like to type your phpMyAdmin password. You will type the same password again. Well, it's complete. Now we're going to check if Apache is running. Yes, it's running. Next thing you want to do is check if the MySQL server is running. Yes, everything is running correctly. And now we want to do MySQL secure install uh, to fix the MySQL password. Press enter and yes, type in the password that you want your MySQL root account to have. And yes, anonymous user. Uh, I'm gonna disallow root login with Y, but you can you can keep this on if you want. And yes, remove test databases and reload privilege tables yes and that's it and now let's run firefox and check if our apache is working yes it's working correctly and now localhost slash php my admin you can log in as phpMyAdmin user with the password that you provided while you installed phpMyAdmin. You can see that you can create a new database with this user. So I'm going to log out of this. And you can't really log in as root on Debian 9. If you try that, you'll see this error. So this is a feature of the new MySQL database or MariaDB, if I tell you correctly, because to log in as root user, you must use sudo. So I'm going to log into my MySQL um, server and create a new user here. So I'm going to create a test user test at the rate of localhost identified by here one two three is my password and we're going to grant all the privileges to everything with star of star to our test user and then we're going to flash the privilege tables Okay, that's complete. Now, if we go back to our phpMyAdmin and can log in as test, and you can see that we can now create new databases. So, that's all the configuration of phpMyAdmin.
Next thing we want to do is change the document root to our home folder so we can make PHP files there. So I'm going to open up my file manager and create a new folder in my home directory with public HTML. I'm going to call it public HTML. Now we're going to configure uh, Apache server to serve web pages from this directory. So sudo nano, etc. edc apache, and then you want to go to sites enabled 000 default.com and on the document root this is what I have to change so we're going to change it from var www.html to uh, the directory that I just created and we'd also like to create a directory uh, option or configuration whatever you want to say We have to do this step without it, it won't work. So, options, indexes, and follow sim links. These are the two that we need. Indexes just shows the indexes if there's no file or there's no index file. And allow overwrite to all so we can use our local uh, HTXS files to configure Apache server. And then we're going to say require all granted. So that's it about our patchy configuration and the next thing I want to do is change the user that patchy runs with. So we're going to go to that ENPverse file and change patchy run user from www.data to our username so that patchy, um, I'm sorry, PHP can have write permission to our home directory. So it's going to help you with file uploads and stuff. Now we're going to restart Apache. With system CDL restart Apache 2. Okay. And let's check. You can see that our directory is showing. And now let's create a test PHP file. write some PHP code here save it and reload on my browser okay you can see that the PHP script is working correctly so that's it about this video please subscribe my channel if you like what I do and thank you for watching